it's just another level. Hi everyone, and welcome to the Watcher of Watches YouTube channel, where I'll be sharing my passion for watches, buying and owning experiences of timepieces that I've collected over the last few years. If you like my videos, please drop me a comment below, hit the subscribe button turning on the notifications, and follow me on Instagram. So, finally got round to making this video since my purchase over a month ago. And I've actually not seen a really good unboxing video of a Langer watch, so hopefully I do this watch justice. I'll also leave a link of my complete buying experience from Lange, which was on my birthday and a day I won't forget. So let's get straight into the unboxing. The first thing that was given was a Langer brochure. And there's a 25th anniversary version. And then the brochure talks about how the watch has become a modern icon. My watch, but this also comes in white gold and yellow gold. And just flicking straight through to the data graph. And I call this my lottery grail. So if I ever won the lottery, this would be the first watch I'd buy. And guys, when you get a chance to pop into a Langa boutique, just take a look at this watch. In this envelope is part of my paperwork. And the small envelope has my receipt in there. Now this watch comes with two years warranty, but if you purchase from one of the Langer boutiques, you get an extra year warranty provided. I was also given a couple of small gifts. And this is specially roasted coffee beans from Panama for Lange. And maybe this is of things to come, because I know FP Jean have started to make their own special brand of chocolates. A Lange pen, which has a nice weight and finish to it. This is the box the sealed watch came in. And it's got some nice padding inside. And this was the seal and plus the quality control sticker. In fact, the watch has three layers, the outer plastic wrapper, the quality control seal, and then the watch case is completely stickered. And this was what I unsealed on pickup and it's actually the first time I've worn a new watch out of the boutique. Finally, the watch box. And when you open it up, you're presented with this nice leather booklet. and it houses two books inside. Plus a microfiber cloth. The book on the left is the operating manual. And it starts off in German and then to English. But I'll run through later in this video on how to set this watch. The beautiful movement there.
The other book is your service booklet. And it comes with a list of all the service centres around the world, plus the stamped warranty page. And the aim was to pick this watch up on my actual birthday. The rest of the book runs through the servicing process. And just like old German cars, there's a section to document your service history. And the main box. which is finished in leather again. I actually would have preferred a slightly more substantial box like you get with Patek or AP, just for that extra special feel, because this is certainly a watch that deserves that. So here you go guys, my Grail watch. So I won't recap why I got this watch. You can see my Grail search videos on my channel. But let's go through a tiny bit of history of this Langer 1. The Langer 1 was released in October 1994 alongside with three other watches and it's really stayed true to its design ever since. And since the rebirth of the company in the 90s, the watch was intended to be fresh and fascinating in design and it certainly achieved that with its off-centre dial and it's now become a modern icon. The reference number of this watch is 191.032 it is 38.5 millimeters in diameter and 9.8 millimeters thick. It has sapphire crystal front and back with a water resistant rating of 30 meters. But let's be honest, you won't be taking a watch like this swimming. And I'll get to the star of the show in a moment, which is a movement, but I really want to talk about the dial, which has so many features to it. At first sight, you may think the dial looks odd with its asymmetric design, but in fact it uses the golden ratio perfectly, which allows it to fit various components in place without having any disruptive overlaps or any dead space. And everything on the dial which is made from solid silver is perfectly finished, the seconds hand which looks wafer thin until you go really close up. The hour and minute hands are all made of solid gold, including the indices, and are finished to utter perfection and it's a watch you would never get bored of looking at under a loop. And you can see the contrast between the matte finish dial with the swirl pattern, but everything else is highly polished, which gives the whole dial a lot of character. The watch has at least five complications. One, an off-centre dial. Two, a separate seconds hand. But three, an iconic big date function, which is an instant switchover at midnight or can be adjusted by this button placed at 10 o'clock. Four, a complication I recently discovered, which is the power reserve. Now the watch comes with 72 hours power reserve when fully wound. But after 36 hours, it goes to the second last marker and then takes 36 hours to get to the final marker stop. So this tricks the wearer into winding the watch more often to keep it at its optimum. And finally, five. So when the watch is fully wound down, the seconds hand resets back to zero. Now, it doesn't stop there for the dial, as I wanna to touch on the lettering. And there was a really good article on the SJX website where they explained that instead of using standard spacing between each letter, like what would happen on a normal Word document on your computer, but on the Langer one, the spaces are different to suit each letter to make it look perfect to the naked eye. Now, that level of design is just astonishing. So that's the dial. Now, let's look at the case. And this watch is pink gold, which you can see in this picture. But then I took a picture about five seconds later with a slightly different angle. And now you can see it actually looks yellow gold. And in fact, in some lights, it's even looked white gold. So the gold composition used by Langer makes the case a bit of a chameleon, depending on the lighting.
Another thing I've noticed is the anti-reflective sapphire. And I've never seen this on another watch, but it feels like there's no crystal there. The side profile shows a case thickness of 9.8 millimeters and the beautifully brushed finish in between the highly polished pink gold. And actually the older models pre-2015 were polished all over, but I much prefer the two different finishes here. And the iconic lugs. And on the original prototypes, the lugs were actually flush, but the CEO at the time used a file to cut a notch into the side to make them unique. The pin buckle on this watch is also unique. It's not flat like you would typically see, but it has a border on the edge, which is then connected to this bar underneath. This is to help it stop slipping off if the pin comes undone. The leather strap is also perfectly made hand stitched and padded. And now the star of the show. And just look at that. Again, you can see that the anti-reflective sapphire makes it look like it's not there. So let's take a closer look. So this is the L121.1 manual wind movement. It has two mainspring barrels, 368 parts, 43 joules, including eight gold chatons. And just like the dial, there's so much going on here, from the perlage pattern to the hand engraved balance cock. And in fact, one of my channel subscribers, Matt Foss, gave me a really good idea to have my initials engraved here. Something that I've discussed with Lange and will do on the first service. Then the black polished swan neck regulator. A straight graining finish. Flat polishing, plus the blue heated screws. And the black specks you see there is the dust on the sapphire crystal. the perfect engraving and ribbing of the iconic three-quarter plate, as well as polished edges and matte finish sides for a contrasting effect. And each gold chaton with three blue heated screws around it. And really this perfection is all around on the movement, doesn't matter where you look at it. And finally, the back of the case also has perfectly engraved lettering all around. So to set this watch, you first wind it, and can you hear that winding action? and pull the crown out in its only position, which hacks the seconds. And now let's make it go past midnight for the instant date switch over. Let's make the watch smile. And then this button placed at 10 changes the date. And it's quite a firm press, so you don't accidentally switch date if you end up putting the watch on the side or something. Now, let's get it on the wrist and see how it looks. What do you think, guys? Is it a worthy grail? Do drop me your comments below. But until my next video, stay safe everyone, thank you for watching, and I'll leave you with a few more wrist shots.